how to add meta titles and descriptions for WordPress pages. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add meta titles and descriptions in WordPress. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So this is the website right here and here we're going to go ahead and add some information. We're going to add the meta titles and descriptions. We're going to make them better, right? And to do that, we are going to be using a plugin and the plugin is called Rank Math SEO. So click on plugins and click on add new plugin right here. It's going to take you over to the plugin store. Now, once you're over here, just simply type in rank math and you will find that plugin right here. Just simply go ahead and install now. It's a free plugin and it's one of the best ones out there. It's actually pretty cool. So, and then once you've installed it, just simply click on activate. And once it's activated, you're going to find it over here onto the left hand side. Click on it and go over to the dashboard right here. As you can see, I'm over here on the dashboard. And here you will find all the different options that it gives you. What you want to do is come over here onto the SEO analyzer right here. Click on SEO analyzer and analyze your website by linking your rank map account, right? So go over to the website. And over here, just simply go ahead and click on my account right here, you know, and sign in. I think I'm already signed in. There we go. So now we're going to go back over to the dashboard and click on link your rank math account, right? Here we go. Click on connect now and click on OK, activate now and we should be good to go. Now, once it's activated, it's going to go ahead and analyze your website. So again, go to the SEO analyzer, it's going to analyze your website and it's going to give you a score right here. So as you can see, our score is pretty low. And we need to fix some of these things right so over here you can see we've got warnings and tests right we've passed a few but we have some more options right if you click on warning it's going to tell you that link ratio is out of balance so we need a good ratio internal links are eight but external links are none we got to fix that there's the fail test as well too many headlines over here as you can see too many h1 tags found on your home page two to be exact and for the best seo result they should be exactly one h1 tag all right so there's two one over here so we got to fix that as well so there's other options so we got to go ahead and fix that now since i've already have the website as you can see right here i'm going to reload it and over here it says rank math seo but uh, what i want to do is i want to edit the page right you can also edit it with elementor i already have it so if you don't have it you should go ahead and download the plugin as well because it'll help you out it's a better editor anyway and once you've downloaded it, click on edit page. It should have an edit page with Elementor section, but it doesn't right now. But if I click on edit page, I should have the option right here called edit with Elementor. So I'm going to click on edit with Elementor and leave over here. And now we're here in the Elementor editor. And let's go ahead and recreate the kit. Recreate the kit over here. It wasn't recreated. Let's go ahead and do that. Save changes and we should be good to go. Now we can go back and click on edit with elementor right here you can see we have the edit with elementor sign click on it and over here it's going to load up and we should be good to go and when you load up you will find that you on the left hand side you have these options right here you will see you also have the seo option if you click on seo it's going to say that you know what you have a bunch of errors right here so these are the basic seo that you need to do here you will see you have to add a focus keyword within to seo title you got to add a focus keyword to your seo meta description you got to add it in the beginning of your content and use focus keywords in the content themselves so let's go ahead and fix this shall we so to find a good focus keyword you gotta go ahead and go into semrush and once you go into semrush go to the keyword magic tool over here on the left hand side and here just type in the keyword that you want so since our website is revolving around restaurants let's go ahead and type some keywords that revolve around restaurants right so let's go ahead and search for restaurant and we're going to go ahead and click on all keywords right this is like a broad search match right here basically any variation of your seed keywords or keyword phrase in an order that's what it is phrase exact exact keywords or researches so you know it depends on you now the keyword that we're looking for should have two things one a high volume two a lower keyword difficulty so what that means is if the keyword difficulty is high it will take a lot of one page seo link building and a lot of seoing in order for it to show up so it's just not worth it so we need something like this with a lower keyword difficulty but a higher reach like this one as well but yeah so over here you can see we have a bunch of different options let's go ahead and click on all keywords and maybe we'll find something so as you can see there's ones but let's go ahead and click on change the uh, order of it so that we get you know lower difficulty so now we have lower difficulty but you know still not enough 
maybe if we change it right let's go ahead and click on come over here by left hand side we can see we have some other options let's go ahead and change the phrase a little bit so i changed up the keywords as you can see this one is a potential match right because it has a lower difficulty it's possible but we will need to you know make it a little bit better and a higher volume of searches as well so we can definitely use this right so i searched for place to eat it gave me places to eat right best places to eat near me that's another option right there uh there's plenty of options right here but i think this one is good so let's go ahead and use this one it's called places to eat so we'll just search for it and a good thing a good coincidence is that our website already has that right a really good place to eat in the city of new york so we can change a little bit you know change the title a little bit and you know focus our keyword so let's go ahead and add our focus keyword right places to eat added the keyword this is going to be our focus keyword and now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this title right here and place our keyword so it says a really good place to eat we want to make it different so that we have to incorporate our keyword so we'll change it up since this is already a blog we'll say this is a blog website we'll change it to a great place so something like this now that we've done that let's go ahead and click on the seo and see whether or not it detects this as you can see it says right here it appears in the first 10 percent of the content keyword was found in the content that's good now we just need to add it in the seo title so let's go ahead and do that and also we need to add it in the meta description so the title is over here so if you click on edit snippet right here you can see this is the title this is the permalink and this is the description we got to make sure we add that over here so let's go ahead and just copy actually this line right here and we'll add it over here into the snippet so we'll just double click over here and paste the line over here there we go and also over here add it over here and but we need to change it over here you know because they're both similar so we gotta change it up a little bit but yeah so now as you can see we've done it uh we've added the keyword in the seo titles and in the meta description as well now all that's left for us to do is to do these things right here called and we need to add subheadings right we need to add it as a focus keyword title and increase the density of the keyword as well because it's too low and we need to add internal links as well so to in do this right you can you already know how you can you know change it right here you just gotta change the headings and add your focus keywords in the headings and subheadings right so what i'll focus on is show you how you can you know change the keyword and put them in the alt image right as an alt text so select any image you want let's say this image right here select this section click on the content scroll down you will find the images right here right we've already have add them right here click on any image you want let's say this image right here click on them and click on edit and here you, it will tell you to add the alt text so alt text is going to be our focus keyword and we'll just add that and click on update same thing we'll do with other images as well click on the edit image and click on update we could also add something over here click on this button or click on style click on advanced you know whatever it is that you want this is the text editor you can add media as well but yeah select anything click on the pen tool and you should be good to go this image it does not you know giving me anything to do that but that's fine but yeah after that you should be good to go now if we go into the seo you will find that there you go focus keyword was found in the image alt attributes so we're good to go now all that's left for us to do is to implement them a couple of more times add internal links and we should be good to go so there you have it this is how you do it this is how you can add a keyword and how you can edit seo meta titles and meta description so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye